Welcome back, YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to address the apparent or the appearing um, sell-off in the market. And also I'm going to address what the what we see going on with media manipulation when it comes down to these prices. Um, ultimately, um, I've been saying this for months, so those of you that follow my channel know this, the media controls the price in the short term. And this is done through either like fear pandering or hopium, you know, because they can do either depending on the uh, circumstances, it just depends on really what's convenient. And we'll see like these boosts from um, like, like the Russia and Ukraine situation. Oh, they're withdrawing troops. Oh my God, that's hopium, no war. Let, let's all come in and then pump the market up. Then the next day, like literally I predicted this on Twitter, I'll post the, uh, the comment up there. And the next day they'll come back and say, oh, nope, they actually added troops. Oh, more fear back in the market. And it's literally this yo-yo that gets created in the market. We'll see these types of moves in Bitcoin as well. We have these um, catalysts and this hopium getting pushed up and saying, oh, Bitcoin is going to rally to an all time high. And you'll see um, the, the Fed literally avoiding the questions that we need to know and that we must know in order to navigate the markets coming forward. And they've literally avoided the last three opportunities they had to address this and literally just leaving it all out there for us to, literally, I guess, find out on the day of because they're not even giving the market an opportunity to even factor in some of that um, panic or that concern. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a bear. Um, I do believe over time the market will appreciate. And I think that a lot of these coins, especially the ones that we discuss here on the channel are going to reach all time highs. But I believe we have to address the elephant in the room here. And that is we are threatening uh, a mass vacuum of funds from the market. And we have to account for that and not just assume that just because we buy into something for us, whatever reason, the coins are going to keep going up when the reasons that they've hit these peaks and the reasons that the market has been rallying the way it is, it has been artificial. We've been getting pretty much a stimulus package on the, in the market for over a year now. And we're going to have to find out what the market looks like without it. And based off of the Fed uh, minutes from yesterday, they're saying that they're sticking to um, March as far as for um, cutting back some of their tapering and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to find out what the market looks like without steroids. So with the cloud looming over the market, don't get sucked into thinking that, oh, you're going to miss the boat or because I know um, we're investing in psychology. People see green candles. They're like, oh, my God, we already hit the bottom. We're running, we're running, we're running. Let me just come in. Give yourself an opportunity to um, to purchase these coins. You can DCA, you don't have to DCA in uh, a, a position all at once or or even in one day or even in one week you can do this over a period of weeks you can do it over months give yourself the opportunity until you get some definite answers on how this year is going to play out give yourself the opportunity to cap to capitalize off of some of these uh, potential lower rates that we're going to see here because i can tell you right now this year is going to be a wild ride in the markets uh just because of like external pressures and i see the bs as far as what the fed is trying to do now with this babying the market instead of just coming out and being direct. Um, I can see that this is going to probably even play out longer than I anticipated. I was calling for the breakdown to be around like March or April, just because I never in a million years thought the Fed would come out and literally, uh, in my opinion, lie and say they don't know um, how many, how, what to what degree the rate hikes are gonna be or how many, and then avoid it at all of their meetings up until March. I never anticipated that in my life. So in, in my opinion, I do believe that, and, and plus if you tack on the fact that they're having these secret meetings, all this kind of stuff, in my opinion, it may be worse than I ever imagined, but I do believe that we're still gonna see some better prices in the market. And if you have the cash, and if you're, uh, if you're strategic about your entries, you're gonna make a lot of money. So with that, I'm gonna take a look at the charts here. I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, I didn't wanna just address the crap that's getting pushed out uh, in the media here. And pretty much Dogecoin uh, is doing literally what we expected it to do. Uh, we're still in line with this bridge here. Um, I thought we'd come up and uh, test the line again. We did. And we're trending sideways. So this is, um, I believe, that um, based off of this trajectory, we should see a break one way or the other around the March 1st, uh, just based off of this trajectory here. But we can very well, this, this line can very well no longer be respected, and which I believe it won't. And I believe we will continue to... Um, trend sideways until we get some definite answers in um, in March, around March 16th from the Fed. And the 12 cents, as far as for uh, the floor here, the, oh, the first floor, has been holding up really well. So 
Um, for those of you looking to try and time it or to get in around 12 cents, as close as you can to that 12 cents is not a bad entry because we do not know um, if it's going to break. 12 cents could very well hold up. It is a point of resistance. Um, we're going to need a major callus to go down and test that um, the one beneath it. But um, as close as you can get to um, 12 cents, we're right around like 13.8 right now. So um, again, that penny, that well, I guess two pennies roughly, um, you know, you're, you're still relatively close and we're getting that. Um, we're running pretty much on a red candle right now, but I don't believe that we're going to break this 12 cents floor until we get some definite answers from like the Fed or if there's like massive pennant running through the market, then of course we can get that breakdown. And then um, of course, um, with some of the callus coming up, if the shorts don't kill us again in like around 22 cents, we can get that rally up. Well, um, that rally up to around the uh, 22 cents mark and kind of see how high we can go. But the trigger for that run is around 18.5 as I gave you um, the numbers the other day. Now, when it comes down to the market indicator, which way the market's gonna go, Bitcoin is going to be on the extreme side of that because it's going to have the most injections, so it's going to have the wilder swings. Um, when we have hopium in the market, Bitcoin is going to run the highest. And when we have fear in the market, Bitcoin is going to see the wildest swing to the downside, which is what we're seeing today. My projections on Bitcoin has not changed. Um, I just believe that, again, Bitcoin benefits the most from hopium, and obviously it can be... Um, hurt the, the fastest and have the wildest swings when it comes down to when there's fear and uncertainty in the market. Um, I do believe that uh, we're probably going to get a few more um, bounces just from like media and all this type of crap that's coming out. But again, until we have concrete information, we have to assume that nothing has changed and just literally rule it as um, hopium. We switch over to uh, BTC here and we have to look at this for what it is. And we've come up and pretty much uh, getting a rejection here off of the 72 day moving average. And I do believe that this is going to um, send us down into like the 30s again. I still have my projections that we're going to go into the 20s. Um, it's just a matter of when, because again, the Fed is literally tap dancing around any issue or um, concrete information that they can give us as far as how they're going to deal with the market overall. But we can see here that the uh, momentum as far as we're with Bitcoin is literally not surpassing. And we're really, really struggling here. Um, we, we got some breaks up above um, our previous um, pretty much this resistance line here. Um, but, well, we got some breaks up above this previous uh, support line, but we also got some rejections here as well. Um, right above the 72 day moving average. So um, for me, I know that you could have kind of predicted, OK, well, this is going to give us some bullish evidence as far as for it to go up and try and test like the higher 45s. But because of the catalyst going on, this is why I say the importance of laying macro over micro. That's why I don't fall for these green candles when they pop up. And I say that, OK, well, this is obviously just being pushed. But overall, Long term, the fundamentals will take control of the coin. Short term, it can be manipulated. You know, you can create fake shares. You can pump a coin via media. An influencer can pump a coin. You can do it short term. But overall, the macros will give you the general direction of the coin. And until that changes, we are going to be in a downward trajectory. We can see these pumps. We can get another run. This can come down to 35. We can get another run back up to 40, 45. It doesn't change the elephant in the room. That is what I want my subscribers to gain from um, my channel is not being led by um, emotions with these green candles. So um, as far as when it comes down to Bitcoin, I personally, um, you can, if you're increasing your positions, you can um, like obviously continue dollar costing average and you don't have to do so all at once. But I'm waiting for some of these lower prices that I believe will happen. I still believe Bitcoin is going to go into six figures, but I believe that we are on a trajectory here to have some lows when this uh, vacuum in the market happens. So we'll see how the Fed plays and if they're going to kick the can down the road because they may or they may backpedal again like in 2018 and we may get a rally in the short term. We'll see. But um, it looks like they are trying to ease us into this um, restriction in the market. So we're going to have to see how the markets respond and what exactly their plan is. Um, because they're certainly not sharing it with us. But uh, as of right now, um, the media is definitely swinging these coins with a lot of the Russian and the Ukraine stuff. 
And um, uh, literally uh, with the minutes coming out, they're putting out bullish information based off of like things that we already know, you know, stating like simple stuff, like we expect an inflation to go down and all this kind of stuff like that. Yeah, everybody does. If everybody thought, if everybody really thought we were gonna go into hyperinflation, the market would look nothing like this, I can guarantee it. But again, um, just be careful with the information you're getting and always overlap the macro with the micro and make sure that before you're going in on these positions really heavily, just kind of spread them out and overlap the macro and micro so that you can get a better idea. So I just want to provide you with that quick update. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more from me. Uh, also, I have a link to BlockFi in the description. If you open an account with them, you can get up to $250 in some of your favorite crypto, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. And until next time.